we was in the local Cub Scout group and someone wrote off to Jim will fix it. They come up with the idea of a milk float race driving round Brands Hatch. They wrote off to them and then we was accepted as a group. We had a really, really great day at Brands Hatch. I mean, it was so much fun. We went back to the BBC studios to film the actual programme. We were sort of talking and he was telling me about the badge, the famous Jim will fix it badge. He was telling us we was going to get one big group one. Um, and was I interested in getting my own individual badge that all the individual people got on the telly? And I jumped at the chance. We went off to a dressing room, as far as I knew, to get the badge. What happened was, he asked me if I wanted to earn the badge. I agreed I wanted the badge. Um, he then sat me down. Um, and that's where it happened. He put his hand on my leg and started touching me, trying to adjust my shorts. He unzipped my shorts. Then there was a knock on the door and someone came in very briefly, in and out, saw that he was in there with someone and off they went and then it was over. I then got myself, adjusted my clothes and then he threatened me, told me not to tell anybody. What did he say to you? Well, he said, don't tell anybody. Nobody will believe you. And he called himself King Jimmy. He said, I'm King Jimmy and he knew where I lived. But basically, then I was petrified and didn't say anything. You must have been terrified. I was, yeah. I mean, I can remember just sitting there, shocked. Absolutely shocked. Just thinking, why me, you know? 